Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to use the PoE power over Ethernet technology to power the media converter. Here we have very typical setup. We use the fiber optic cable to connect the point A and point B. The point A, we got the camera. The point B, we have never video recorder and the router. And you see, this is the pre fiber optic cable. We cannot connect this cable, this fiber optic cable directly to any of the IP device because like this one, it only can take in the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable. So in this case, we need to use this media converter. The media converter will convert the fiber optic signal to the electronic signal. We got another one just next to the camera, it will exactly the same. But you see that one thing, we need the power source for this media converter, right? Because some, in some of the application, the power source may not available. I mean, for example, if you need to place this media converter just outside of the building, it, there's no guarantee that we have got a power source just outside of the building. In this case, we're going to use the power over the Ethernet technology. You see, this is the copper cable. So we need to find a way to send the power through this router to the media converter. Then we can remove this power source. Now let's just remove this power source. So let's say we don't have power source outside of the building, but we still need to power this media converter. Okay, in this case, we need two equipment. First is the PoE injector. This injector will inject, I mean, just add the power to the Ethernet cable, just the KFIE or K6. And next to the media converter, we also need this PoE splitter. Okay, now let's just make a quick connection. First, Let's power this media, uh, this PO injector. And then we need to remove this cable. This is the cable linking to the media converter. Now let me just remove and connect to the PoE port. From here, we need another short punch code to link the LAN port. This is the LAN port to one of the data port on the router. So we got the data bed. Okay. Now let's just move to the media converter. As you see, the media converter doesn't support PoE. Even if we connect this one, we don't get the power because the power will be removed after that. In this case, we will need to have this PoE splitter. We need to connect the port to the PoE splitter. Once connect in, you can see we got the power. We, can, can, we get the power from this output, and this is DC tilt voltage. So that means we can power the media converter. All right, let me just place the media converter on the wall. Okay, just get the, get the cable manager. And now we still have another short punch code to connect this midi, this pure speaker. To the media converter. Now let's just wait for a while. You can see the cameras back on light. In this case, we just send the power next to the router to the media converter. And the maximum distance between the injector and the speaker is about 328 feet. It's quite round. So even there's some place where you cannot get the power for a media converter, you still can use the PoE technology to send the power as, as well as the data to the media converter. It will be the same just for another side for the camera. And in this case, we don't need the power source available. We can remove, we have removed this power source. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.